we'll go ahead and get started. Council Member Syracuse. Thank you, Madam President Pro Tem. Uh, next Wednesday, the 28th, uh, will be the final community meeting for the Donaldson Transit Oriented Development District, and that will be held um, at the Larry Keaton Theater inside of uh, 54 Donaldson Station. It'll be at uh, 6 p.m., so I look forward to seeing you there. Thanks. Thank you. Council Lady Antoinette Lee. Thank you. On March the 5th, we're going to have in District 33 at the Cane Ridge Center on Cane Ridge Road, we're going to have a transit meeting. So if anybody is interested in coming out to uh, find out more about that, to learn about that, to give input or whatever they want to do, please come on out. And I'd like to invite anybody who would like to come join us to join us. Thank you. Mr. O'Connell, are you? Councilman O'Connell. Thank you, Madam President. Uh, if you're not here tonight or watching this on Metro Nashville Network, uh, you might be uh, considering attending gentrification across the spectrum. This is the TSU College of Public Service Black History Month event that is taking place uh, right now. It just started as, as we kicked off these announcements at TSU's Avon Williams campus, just a few blocks away. It's a film and discussion about gentrification, so I'd, I'd encourage you to look uh, for that event if you're out there right now and able to get down there. Even if you missed some of the film, I think the discussion is going to be worthwhile. Uh, lots of great panelists for that discussion, and if you can't make it, do check out the film uh, on your own. Uh, then I would encourage anyone to help Fisk University celebrate the 150th birthday of W.E.B. Du Bois. A panel entitled From the Souls of Black Folk to Black Lives Matter will be taking place in Fisk's Memorial Chapel uh, on Wednesday, February 21st at 6 p.m. Then on Friday, February 23rd at 2 p.m., there is a birthday celebration at the W.E.B. Du Bois statue on Fisk campus. Uh, finally, I wanted to say that Nashville MDHA is holding a public hearing on the development of their new five-year consolidated plan Thursday, March 1st. That's next week, 5.30 p.m. at Habitat for Humanity. This is an important opportunity to weigh in on affordable housing in Nashville. And actually, I just uh, confirmed with uh, my colleague from District 15 that uh, an event in his district, but one that matters quite a bit as, as my district has struggled with this historically, uh, tomorrow, morning from 8 a.m. to 11.15 a.m. at the Catholic Pastoral Center, uh, Metro Social Services is hosting a profile of the financially struggling people in Nashville that will coincide with their release of the 2018 Community Needs Evaluation. I guess it's, well, maybe it's a 2017 version uh, from the, uh, the year we've just completed. And if you've never been to this event, it's, a, it's an important event about what uh, life in, in Nashville is like when you're in poverty, and I think uh, it's, it, it's a benefit to all of my colleagues here, but I think also the entire city, uh, the work that Metro Social Services does to compile this data. So if you're free tomorrow morning, uh, check that out. If you're not free tomorrow morning, do check out that latest copy of the Metro Social Services Community Needs Evaluation. Thank you, Madam President. Thank you. Council Lady Karen Johnson. Thank you, Madam Speaker Pro Tim Weiner. <laughs> I made it in time. I know, right? <laughs> um, District 29, uh, the spring cleanup uh, is scheduled now for Saturday, April 22nd from 8 a.m. until 12 noon. Again, as we always have it, in the Compton's uh, Foodland parking lot. Uh, Goodwill will be on hand. Um, our Metro Public Works crusher trucks and dumpsters will also be there. And Shredded will be there to provide free shredding services. So mark your calendars for Saturday, April 22nd from 8 to 12 noon. And more information will be emailed out. Um, the second announcement is there is a community meeting scheduled for Wednesday, March 14th at 6.30 p.m. at the Bell Road Church of the Nazarene there on Bell Road uh, for the business, uh, the Income Tax Center, requesting to change the zoning at 355 Bell Road. This is a very important meeting. 
Um, this is being held prior to any action that the Planning Commission is going to take. So the meeting is being scheduled, uh, scheduled before the Planning Commission meeting. And so this again will be Wednesday, March 14th at 6.30 p.m. And uh, you will see signs go up uh, with the public hearing um, for the Planning Commission and for the Metro Council. And uh, finally, uh, as a reminder, this is the third planning meeting, the Southeast Egg Hunt and Festival planning meeting is scheduled this Saturday, February 24th, from 10 a.m. to noon at Knowledge Academies. And uh, we're very excited um, that HCA TriStar is one of our main sponsors of this event. Um, as you all know, this is the 15th year of this event in Southeast Nashville. So to have a large sponsor, um, HCA TriStar, we're very excited. Um, so we're already purchasing all of the eggs and so forth. But the additional sponsors are Janny King and Kroger. Kroger Corporate uh, will also uh, be providing um, additional sponsorship. So we have three main sponsors this year for our 15th year celebration. And uh, that is it. Thank you. Thank you. Councilman Pulley. Thank you, Madam President. Uh, I just wanted to announce uh, we're having a community meeting at the Hillsborough High School Library tomorrow. Uh, it'll be in three phases. Uh, we've had a lot of uh, recent rash of crimes uh, that are committed around there, uh, armed robberies and, and the like, uh, which have uh, the uh, constituents on edge. So we have a 5 p.m. meeting at the library uh, that'll last about an hour with the police department to talk about what they're doing and give some uh, advice to community members and seek their input and give some uh, advice about what to do. Uh, at 6 p.m. we'll have a uh, uh, meeting about a sidewalk project that we have uh, uh, coming up on Belmont Park Terrace and then at 6.30 p.m. we'll be meeting about the uh, Green Hills Park and some of the really nice things that are going on there. So that will all take place tomorrow, uh, Wednesday night at the Hillsboro High School Library. Thank you very much. Thank you. Council Lady Vercher. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I um, have a few announcements for District 28 constituents and out in Antioch and Southeast Davidson. Um, if you haven't already subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe to the newsletter. Um, you can send me an email at tanaka.vercher at nashville.gov. Also, we will have our upcoming community meeting. That will be April 14th from 10 a.m. to 11.30 a.m. We'll be discussing um, our first and second quarter priorities as it relates to the district, um, give our yearly uh, up to date, our yearly up to date, and we also will have a presentation as it relates to transit. Our community uh, cleanup will be April 21st. Um, as always, we meet in the Food Lions parking lot on Richards Road. We will have uh, Goodwill there, and the shredded truck will also be there. All of this is free, no cost to the community. So please put those on your calendars as, as save the dates. Also want to uh, give this opportunity to thank um, the community, business partners, um, Belmont University, and of course my, my council colleagues and the Minority Caucus for coming out and sharing and celebrating with us for the Minority Caucus reception that we had at, at Belmont University. It was a, was, was a huge success. Thank uh, President Mayor Wayne Messam from Miramar, Florida, President of the National Black Caucus of local elected officials. He did a phenomenal job. Uh, we had over 200 in attendance, standing room only. Um, it was a, a huge, a huge event. And I, I want to take this opportunity to say thanks to everyone that really showed up to allow us to showcase um, just the strength and the unity of the Minority Caucus of this body that we all so serve humbly and with humility. Um, with that said, um, I believe that concludes uh, all of my, my announcements. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Thank you. Councilman Anthony Davis. I must be last, I, I hit the button late. Thank you, uh, <laughs> Madam President. Uh, just one quick one. Um, 
Thursday, March 1st, is our in, uh, monthly Inglewood meeting uh, at the uh, Lytton Alumni Center on Gallatin Road. It's always the first Thursday, so it's Thursday, March 1st at 7 p.m. at the Lytton Alumni Center on Gallatin Road. Thank you. Thank you. Anyone else in the queue? Well, that said, I'll give my announcements this time. So this coming Thursday, we have a Bellevue Community Transit event. It will be held at the Jewish Community Center, and it'll be an opportunity for the community to come at 530 and listen to the presentation from the pro transit group. And we will also offer the other side coming up. Um, don't have a specific date for that yet. This coming Saturday morning um, at the Bellevue Library, there will be an opportunity for folks to come listen to our circuit court, I'm sorry, our criminal court clerk, um, Howard Gentry, who will be speaking about things going on in the court and things that might be interest to folks in the community. And right now, that's all I've got. And so we will consider the announcements period call to an end. Thank you. <laughs>